Crosswalk, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a great week. Well, today we find ourselves in the New Testament. The past couple of weeks we've been talking about uh, some of the great figures of the Bible in the Old Testament, but now we're moving forward and talking about the life of Jesus. And in today's passage, we're going to learn about a time when Jesus revealed his glory to some of his disciples. So today we're going to be in Matthew chapter 17, which you can find somewhere in your Bible. Look it up. And we're going to start with verse 1. Now after six days, Jesus took Peter and James and John, his brother, and led them up on a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Whoa. Can you imagine if you were standing there with Jesus and that happened? How amazing. How wonderful. And one of the interesting things about it is that it seems from the language that is used there that it is compared to, in that word transfigured, to like what a butterfly goes through. So when a butterfly changes completely from a caterpillar to a butterfly, that is a complete and total transformation. And that's what happened with Jesus. The disciples who were there were able to see him in all of his glory. And the glory that we will see him someday in heaven. And it affirmed for the disciples who Jesus was. That he truly was the Son of God. But if that wasn't enough... We'll continue. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared with them, talking to them. And that's verse 3. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But while he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And suddenly a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Well, that voice of God the Father had spoken about his beloved son once before, when he was baptized. And now that was being affirmed, but with the additional command to hear him. We need to hear what the Bible tells us. We need to hear God's word. We need to hear the teachings of Jesus, but not only hear them, we need to do them. And that is my prayer for you, Crosswalk, that you will hear God's word through the Bible and through his Holy Spirit, and you will do what God is calling you to do. You have a great week, Crosswalk, and we'll talk again soon. This is us. I know we normally have this light not on, but if I turn it on here and we talk about the transfiguration, this is a little bright. We'll edit this out. Good idea.